So Jesus is speaking here about the kingdom of God. And some things to notice about the dynamics of this of these two parables. The first is a parable about the difference between the farmer who essentially just lets things happen, puts in the seed and sleeps and rises and let it be until the time when it is complete, when it is time for the harvest, and then he takes action. So the analogy of this parable is, on the one hand, to God as uh, the initiator of the harvest, who puts things in and waits until the time has come for the harvest. It is also about the attitude of those who are looking for the kingdom of God to have confidence that it is working. God is growing God's government in the world. And what we can do is to initiate that and to sow the seeds, but then it is God who brings about growth and development. And then when the time of completion comes, it's time to act. So this is a parable on the one hand about patience and about waiting. It is on the other hand the good news about the way that in the midst of times when it appears that nothing is happening and that the powers of this age, powers of evil are you know, completely in control, look at, pay attention to what is sowing and what is growing, which you may not recognize, but uh, that you can rest and so on. So it's a, it's a parable about the dynamic of the kingdom of God and the sheer energy of God's action, which often is not seen or recognized. And the parable of the mustard seed, you know, what I would suggest is that at the beginning of that parable that you do it very quietly, so you know, to give it a sense of the smallest of all the seeds. The dynamic of the parable is the contrast between the smallness of the seed and the greatness of the harvest, of the branches, and of what they can do. And so the the contrast between the small seeds and the big shrub is what you want to convey in the telling of this parable. It's a parable of great good cheer and uh, even a kind of laughter in the delight of you know, the large branches and the birds of the air making nests in its shade and so on. It's a parable for all little things in relation to the kingdom of God. The dynamic of this is that it is in response to discouragement about the kingdom of God. Jesus is responding to people who have given up hope, who no longer see the possibility of anything coming to be, and for whom all of Jesus' preaching about the coming of the kingdom of God is perhaps interesting, but they're basically cynical or in despair about the possibility of anything changing. What Jesus does then is to respond to that spirit by these parables, which are about the kingdom of God happening at some point in the very near future.